In the night from Thursday to Friday, the die is cast. Many films, some which have been waiting for a long time, were postponed. But this time, it doesn't only affect one studio, but almost all of them. Huge chaos, which we will put in order for you in the following list. The first one is Christopher Nolan's Tenet, which should have been released in mid-August and which caused a real domino effect due to its postponement. As some insiders report, Warner Brothers is now aiming for the end of August at the earliest and release on Labor Day weekend in the USA at the beginning of September seems quite realistic. Many people ask themselves why Warner Brothers doesn't simply postpone the movie to 2021, as is the case with many other Hollywood movies, but Warner would definitely like to release the movie this year to bring some life back to the cinemas. Many things indicate that Tenet will be released outside the USA at the end of August and in the USA on the Labor Day weekend of September 4th to 7th, 2020. Disney in particular is making some concessions and is postponing 17 films. At the top of them is Mulan. Actually, the film about the Chinese warrior should have been released in August, just like Tenet. However, now the official decision was made to postpone it indefinitely. A bitter setback, after all, many fans have been waiting for the Disney blockbuster since March. Also, the still unnamed Star Wars trilogy will now come later, on December 22nd, 2023, which means an additional year of waiting for fans. And as yet unnamed Disney live action movie displaces Avatar 2 from its launch date and will now be released on December 17th, 2021, which means that not only the second part is affected, but also all Avatar movies will be delayed by a whole year. Avatar 2 will be released on December 16th, 2022, Avatar 3 on December 20th, 2024, Avatar 4 on December 18th, 2026, and the last part on December 22nd, 2028. James Cameron made a statement on the official Avatar Instagram page. According to him, the main reason for the delay is the fact that the studios in Los Angeles where the most special effects are digitally processed are currently not accessible. He himself is the one who is most annoyed about this. He thanks the fans with the words Irayo, which means thank you in the Navi language. Sony takes advantage of the postponement of Avatar 2 and sets the date for the Spider-Man Far From Home sequel from November 5th to December 17th, 2021. Also a fact, there are two Paramount films that should have been released this year. First, A Quiet Place 2 will not be released this August, but on April 23rd, 2021, while Top Gun Maverick will have to leave its date shortly before Christmas 2020 and will be released on July 2nd, 2021. Other new dates from Paramount are Jackass on September 3rd, 2021 and Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which hasn't had an official date yet, on April 8th, 2022. A real horror message is also the postponement of Conjuring 3. Actually, the third part of the popular film series should have been released on September 11th, 2020, but now, June 4th, 2021, has been chosen as a better date. A first trailer for Conjuring 3 is therefore a long way off. Also, fans of DC have to be patient because the production of the movie Black Adam, which is already planned since 2008, is delayed as well. The main reason here are not any pandemic-related restrictions, but the schedule of The Rock. According to a recent report of The Hollywood Reporter, Dwayne The Rock Johnson will first be in front of the camera at the end of 2020 for the Netflix thriller Red Notice, for which the shooting has already started started briefly and is now pausing. As the US magazine reports, Johnson will first finish Red Notice before he can start shooting Black Adam. So the filming start in the late summer announced by The Rock in April is now cancelled and fans have to cope with another disappointing news from Hollywood. Hopefully, we were able to shed some light on the situation for you after all, the schedule of almost all upcoming Hollywood movies has been distorted quite a bit. We can only hope that we can finally expect the dates mentioned above, but of course, everything depends on the pandemic and the resulting restrictions. Netflix is apparently planning a new blockbuster in espionage style and the Californian company is willing to pay a lot for it. The streaming service wants to spend up to 200 million US dollars on it. The reason for the huge budget is quite obvious. Behind the camera, the two Russo brothers are sitting in the director's chair, and in front of the camera, we will see Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans, among others. The film, which is supposed to be the start of a new franchise, will be called The Grey Man, and is planned to be a spy thrill in the style of James Bond. The story is based on a 2009 novel by Mark Greeny about former CIA agent Court Gentry, who now works as a hitman. Of course, the authorities noticed that, and so Gentry's former CIA colleague Lloyd Hansen is set upon him. Afterwards, they start a cat and mouse game that extends over the whole globe. Allegedly, the roles are already chosen. Ryan Gosling plays the villain and Chris Evans the law and order. The shooting of The Grey Man will start next year, so release before 2022 seems unrealistic. 
After the disappointing end of Game of Thrones after Season 8, many fans worldwide have been waiting for new, more satisfying content around George R. R. Martin's franchise for quite some time. Especially after the planned spin-off series The Long Night or Blood Moon with actress Naomi Watts was completely cancelled last year, it's slowly time for a new story. As was announced a few days ago, the next project, House of the Dragon, is in the planning stage. The miniseries will be the prequel to Game of Thrones and will also be based on Martin's Fire and Blood book series. According to rumors, the series will be about the civil war during the reign of the Targaryens of the Seven Kingdoms, which means it will be set about 300 years before the events in Game of Thrones. Allegedly, HBO is currently looking for two actresses for the leading roles right now, a Targaryen who wants to ascend to the Iron Throne alongside her half-brother Aegon II and Alyssa Hightower, the mother of Aegon II. However, we must be careful with the information about the cast because so far it is nothing more than rumors that have been spread. The series is supposed to consist of 10 episodes in total and is expected to be released in 2022. We are curious if this time it'll turn out better than the series with Nomi Watts. Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter will soon be back together in front of the camera for the third Bill and Ted part. As we found out a few days ago, the distributor will bring the film to the cinema but will also give the fans the opportunity to watch the movie from the comfort of their living room via video on demand. The whole thing was cleverly announced recently and should please many film fans. After all, this is the first major film where fans can decide for themselves whether they want to go to the cinema or rather watch the film from home. Actually, a pretty clever idea because this way you don't depend on the openings of the movie theaters and still generate solid income through video on demand. The US release of Bill and Ted Face the Music is September 1st, 2020.